As an option, the flow tracker can be ordered with a two-piece top setting weighting rod as shown in the photo. The flow tracker weighting rod is best stored and transported in the hard plastic carrying case as shown or some other case that protects it from damage. To assemble the weighting rod, you will first need to attach the top and bottom sections together. Depressing the upper hand release allows you to raise and lower the small circular rod as needed. The sensor adapter bracket comes pre-installed on the weighting rod and is used to mount the probe sensor to the weighting rod as shown. A small Phillips head screwdriver is used to secure the sensor probe in place. You will then attach the top mounting plate as shown by clamping the bracket to the post located on the top of the weighting rod handset. The handheld controller then attaches to the top mounting plate using the two threaded inserts on the back which are used to securely attach it to the mounting plate. The weighting rod will come with metric or English scales based on your preference. Shown on the left is the English scaled weighting rod. On the right is the metric scaled weighting rod. For the metric rod, the triple hash represents 0.5 meter increments, the double hash represents 10 centimeter increments, and the single hash represents 2 centimeter increments. For the English rod, the triple hash represents 1 foot increments, the double hash represents 0.5 foot increments, and the single hash represents 0.1 foot increments. The top setting weighting rod is designed such that it can be set into position only once, allowing the sensor to be moved to multiple depths without having to remove the weighting rod from its original position. The graduated markings on the hex shaped rod are used to read the proper water depth. The graduated scale located on the handpiece and the graduations on the smaller circular rod are used to adjust the sensor to the proper measurement depth based on the particular mean velocity method that you'll be using. The 0 0.2, 0 0.6, and 0.8 water depths can be read using the scale provided on the weighting rod. The 0.6 depth is read directly by aligning the numbered graduations on the small circular rod with the numbered tick marks on the hand scale. For example, if the water depth was read as 0.25 meters, you would adjust the small circular pole such that, the, such that the number 2 aligns at the midpoint between the 0.4 and the 0.6 tick mark on the hand scale. The 0.2 depth is read on the hand scale by doubling the water depth and setting the rod accordingly. The 0.8 depth is read by dividing the water depth in half and setting the weighting rod to the corresponding depth. For example, if the water depth was read as 0.2 meters, the 0.2 depth would be set by aligning the number 4 of the circular rod with the number 0 on the handset tick marks. To set the 0.8 depth, the number 1 on the circular rod would be aligned with the number 0 on the handset tick marks.